hello hello everybody welcome to, to my channel my name is Jack with my girl budgeting and on today's video guys we are have my planner that I work on that I budget myself well not budget but I ask, actually plan out my month for bills and everything else I got going on as far as like so we are closing out March and then we are I wanted to go ahead and show you guys show you guys because I am moving everything from March to April's uh, calendar list. So this is basically how I track all my bills for the month and where everything falls in place. That way I can know what to expect whenever my income comes um, is expected. I am no longer a, a bi-weekly paycheck income uh, for myself, but I am now going to become a weekly pay, uh, income uh, so that's gonna be a big slight change for me because I've always budgeted myself according to bi-weekly for years so this is gonna be a big difference for me but uh, not that I'm complaining I'm not it's just gonna be an adjustment so basically guys I what I have moved over here is what I'm gonna be moving into that's not April <laughs> into our April calendar so I have April here but I need to color in my um, everything that I categorize so I've already written out most a majority of everything I, um, I think I, I should have gotten everything so basically and what we're gonna do also is try to plan out my April budget onto my binder here so we have my income um, expenses as in bills and debt and subscriptions I like to separate subscriptions from expenses just in the event that I decide maybe one day to cancel some of those subscriptions because I no longer need them right so that just helps me to, to decide at you know different points in my life guys before I move on I want to go ahead and get our prayer card read out for today I've been slacking on that so let's go ahead and get my today's prayer out so you guys can have a lovely prayer to focus on hopefully throughout your day so today it says whoever despises his neighbor is a sinner but blessed is he who is generous to the poor Proverbs 14 21 so let's go ahead and get into it. So we have income first. I like to use income in green. And everything in green that is income is basically highlighted. Um, like I said, I'll be a weekly paycheck now. So that is going to change for me. Uh, let's see. I also need to start including Etsy on here. But I... I have to figure out what my pay on my Etsy uh, is because I haven't yet, I've yet to figure out how they, they either, sometimes I get it like once a week, sometimes I get it bi-weekly, I don't I have no idea, but anyways, let me jump into, so expenses was orange, <clears throat> so that is going to be all on bills monthly re reoccurring bills let's see that's it um, that's that and I think that is it for expenses we're gonna go ahead and do um, red for debt so debt of course is American Express my home mortgage capital one or chase car my bathroom Capital One, and I 
think that is it for that. And then we're going to go ahead and put subscriptions in blue. that now I have my little stickers guys so I can as you can see I like to add little stickers these I actually got from Dollar General um, I think it was Dollar General but they had them available for the month each month so I'm gonna go ahead and use that uh, where are we? April okay so stickers I'm not gonna go too crazy with the stickers just fun to decorate your calendar with you know they had a tax day on here but for Earth Day cute little stickers Day Ramadan ends. What else? What else? Get some cute little butterfly on here. Just to fest it up, you know. Spring has begun. flowers right guys <laughs> okay that's not gonna be too crazy I'm not gonna go all too much I just like to add a little bit of these cute little stickers to my calendar just to keep it festive it guys so yeah that is cute enough <laughs> so we'll put that aside now I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my binder guys and this I've actually it's a reprint I'm working on a new budget sheet to help me um, on my tracking so this is for my income I actually have the laminated version of an undated one so I can reuse it this, I just like to have this because I do pull this out a lot of times to write track a lot of things that I'm doing in the budgeting, as you can see. I've got some stuff listed out. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and jump into my budget sheet here. I'm going to keep my calendar out just so I can have it to, um, to refer back to when I'm writing out my budget. I wasn't going to use a mark 
permanent marker because I'm tired of using the permanent markers, but yeah, we're not. So this is basically my income. Uh, we have my first amount, which I made this completely, you know, but to be based off of my bi-weekly paycheck because I have two columns, one for your first paycheck, one for your second. But now I've, I'm going to probably have to use two of this to be able to allot for all four weeks now. So that is going to be something where I'm different. I haven't received my first check because of course two weeks goes in before I receive my first check. So I won't know until what I'm going to get. But let's go ahead and go into our bills and list those out so I can have them ready on hand. So we'll go into the beginning week. So for the first week, which is, and these are bills. I'm not going to, I include my mortgage and my cars on my bills, but for debt, I do not include my credit cards or anything that pertains to um, those kinds of debts. So Wells Fargo. That's my mortgage. So I'm going to, I have to figure that out. So I need my calculator. Put 128.75 for this first one because I've already paid up for the month. Or, well, I'm gonna pay myself back basically. Uh, next is Reliant. That is for my electricity, and typically I like to put 75 toward that. Now I can actually put less because I'm weekly. Duh. So, I'll just keep it bi-weekly. I'll pay that bi-weekly still. Okay, we have HP Inc., which is the third. This is for the subscriptions. So, we'll put that there. And that's going to be $7. Um, I'm going to have to figure this out because it's... Oh yeah, I don't I don't know how my how everything's gonna fall into place. American Express, let me go ahead and get that and put it on my debt right here. So that's on the first. American Express. And that one I'm gonna put for twenty dollars. And as I work on my debt, guys, I will be putting focusing on my minimum pay um, amounts to like to do the snowball effect so I'm still just for trying to figure that out we have chase on the sixth and that one is gonna be also twenty dollars and then we have city of Midland which is my water bill that is on the eighth Water. And I'm gonna put $25 toward that. Typically it's usually about $80, but I'm gonna go ahead and start putting a little bit more toward it because as spring begins we start watering more, so I'm going to make sure I have enough to cover that. My internet should be 55 so what am I paying I'm gonna pay $20 toward that this may change guys as time goes on because like I said weekly is pays are gonna be a little bit different for me so let's see Forty-eight is what I'm gonna put right now as a bi-weekly or, or not bi-weekly thing. Yeah. Uh, Google is also on the ninth, and that one will get its 
its usual four dollars since I pay that off easily okay pink zebra on the 11th and that is gonna be 36 dollars so we're gonna put And that's $56.57. I'm going to round it up. All right. Next up is another PZ. And that is for my um, monthly website. Website. And that is $12, so I'm going to put $3 toward it. Okay. Reliant again. And that's going to get... I'm going to go ahead and put 50 here. Because I'm going to put those two week, other two weeks in here. I'm probably going to try to put at least two weeks onto the first column. And then I'll figure it out, hopefully. Hopefully. Seventeenth uh, is State Farm. And that is a crazy, crazy. Two ninety seven. So I'm gonna put round up two ninety eight. We have Capital One that is on the 18th, and that's going to be also $20. And then we have Atmos, which is gas, on the 21st, and that is probably going to be put $13 toward that. All right. AT&T, 23rd. AT&T. I'm going to put 75 here. Then we have AHS which is my home warranty. HS, that is $31.75. And next up is Vivinit. Vivinit is security. Netflix 29th that doesn't go here <laughs> that goes up here uh, 29th. I tried to cancel it guys like I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't cancel it because I was missing the shows all right so basically this is gonna be for the first two weeks um, of my paychecks this is what I'll be putting toward working toward on that first paycheck and then um, well on all these check paychecks now on all these bills now that I'm gonna be weekly I need to apply each of these at fund right so I'll be working on that <laughs> I'll probably have to change this up because I'm telling you guys I'm still uh, that's gonna be different for me But we will figure it out. I will figure the majority of this out whenever I get my first income so I can figure out how much I'll be paying toward it. Of course, I have my savings. I won't know until I know what my income is and then my um, 
sinking funds. Um, and then this, of course, is where I'm going to put all my totals, which I can't do that yet. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Laying out my bills for the month and seeing how things are going to play out. I will probably update this um, more and more as time goes on. I don't know why my light dimmed down, but it did. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much my April binder. I will probably do a part two of this to get you updated whenever I get my income set on what I'm actually going to be getting after taxes and everything that, you know, all the fun fees that come out of your paycheck. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was, you know, um, a different journey for me to start my own, you know, part and being paid weekly. So that is going to be something I'm going to be working toward on and that way I can get focused back onto it. But I, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Much love to you all. If you have not yet hit that like button, go ahead and hit it and leave a comment hashtag weekly. We'll do hashtag weekly on today's video, guys. I hope you have a blessed week and I will go see y'all in the next video. Bye.